Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another instruction or the parameter that is nothing but org instruction. So the org instruction in the Docker file is used to define the build time variables. So here you need to understand that env is used for runtime variables and org is used to build the run build time variables. Sorry, that one is runtime and this one is build time. So here I will try to show you with the notepad plus plus let's open it and I will try to open this one right and this env is completed so now we are learning about the arg so arg in a is used to define build time variables okay so this is used to be build time variables now these variables can be passed to the docker build process via the docker build command so if you when you are trying to do this docker build command and when it is trying to build so docker build command means so there is nothing but docker image build command so when we are trying to do this docker image build process build process in this build process these arg variables will be passed to the commands so that is what it is trying to say they differ from environment variables because so environment variables and env and arg are both different why because these are available during the build process and not in the running container and these one will be available only during the build process and these in environment variable will be available only in the when running the container this is the difference between these two and what is the syntax for this one is same thing just like the env how it is having so in the same scenario you will be having arg key is equal to value so same thing like this so that is that is what so name is nothing but the name of the argument and the value means nothing but optional default value for the argument so that's that's it about this one so now another thing which i want to tell you about this arg is okay so i want to tell arg is so this is the this is the another parameter or this is the only parameter which we can use before the from so starting of the docker file so the starting of the docker file as i already told you that so what we will be using we will be using the from right so starting of the docker file we will be using from and this is the only parameter arg is the only parameter which we can use before from okay or starting of the docker file we can use this one so that means we can start the docker file or we can create the docker file using only two parameters or two instructions that is from either from or arg so using these both instructions only we can start the docker file other instructions we cannot using at the we cannot use at the starting of the file so that is one thing and we can use the multiple args in the docker file so there is no problem so just arg is nothing but a variable which we can use it during the build time process only and environment is the variables which we can use it in the runtime environment so we can you we can define and we can use multiple arg instructions in a docker file okay so that is one thing and another one what i want to do it is for example if you want to make this arg available in the container means then we can we need to use it to set in the environment variables so we need to set this arg in the environment variable for example let's say that i am having an arg version is equal to 1.0 so if i want to use this version in the container means then i need to use the env variable and i can use the version and i need to use it arg here so how can i use the arg variable here means so we need to use dollar of something like version okay so this variable represents the argument so this is how we will be referencing the argument variable so this is what i want to tell you so this is another our thing so the best practices for this one is the best practices we need to learn first before starting the best practices for this one is use arg for build time variables and env for runtime variables so that is one thing provide default values for arg to make the docker file more predictable use meaningful names for arg to improve the readability and maintainability that is one thing and the limitations for this one is arg values are not persisted in the final image and cannot be used after the build stage so this is one thing limitations you need to do so after the build everything is completed so if you want to use this arg variable means we cannot use it arg values are not persisted env values are persisted so you cannot able to get this arg values in the final image and cannot be used after the build stage so when the build is completed we cannot use it only arg values so this is also one thing 
only arg values defined before the first from instructions can be used in from instruction so you can so if any any arg values are that are defined after the from instruction means you cannot use those arg values so only the arg values you have defined before the from instruction only we can able to use it so that's one thing by understanding and using the arg instruction effectively you can create flexible and customizable docker files that can adapt to different build environments and requirements so now let's try to see the basic thing in a practical this is all about the theoretical session and i will try to tell you about the practical session for example let's say that let's go to our mobile extrom and here this is our docker file and if i want to declare the label means so how can i use it is for example let's say that here okay so if you want to mention the arg means arg version is equal to 20.04 let's say okay and here directly i can use this one dollar of version directly so this is the arg i can use it so now only this this variable only i can use it in the from why because it is defined before the from and if i have any variable other than uh, other than version so if it is defined after the from means i cannot use that variable so that means i cannot use this version after the from so now if i want to use this 20.04 now let's say that i want to nginx i want to install vers particular version let's say let's say example let's say so maybe the nginx version will not be available but i will try to do it so is equal to dollar of version okay so that means i want to install nginx version of something like 20.04 which may not be available so let's try to see and the another one which i want to tell you is so here so i can show that whether it is available or not echo run echo the version of the argument is dollar of version i am trying to show you okay now let's try to see let's try let's try to build the or build image so let's try to build the image yeah this is the image we are trying to build it right let's build it so it will take some time so here you'll be able to see that it is taking ubuntu 20.04 that is nothing but it is taking from the argument version and here it is trying to run nginx is equal to dollar version so which it is not able to uh, it is it is trying to execute it but here it will throw you error see i am unable to find nginx that is version nothing but 20.04 something like that maybe if it is available means it will download it so just it is showing the command that's it so i will try to show you that run echo version also so that you can able to understand it very easily so it is now it is trying to do it let it take some time so now here it is throwing the error so what is the issue so let's try to uh, open the file again let's try to see it so arg version we have implemented and we are trying to check this version and here we are able to see this one let's try to see it so let's try to delete this version and we will see what i will try to do it is i will try to com comment out this one so why because it is taking too much time so now let's try to see the version we are able to get the version or not dollar version and this is the version we are able to see so hopefully everything is fine and let's try to run again okay now if i try to run this one let's see so now it's take from the cache and it is taking the echo the version of the argument is dollar version so it is not telling the version number what could be the reason for this one let's see again so here the issue we are experiencing is because docker arguments are scoped differently from the environment variables so now here the arg values are can be used to parameterize the build process they are not available during runtime unless explicitly passed as an environment variables or directly referenced during the build so if it is referenced during the build then we will be able to get it but these are all running uh, in the runtime they are running it right so that's why these arguments are not available so now if you want to make this version available means then we need to make it in the in available in the environment variables so that means here we need to use env okay so these are all running inside the container so that is a, that is the reason so what it will try to do it is so here it will try to inside the image uh, for it, it will be running it right so after build the process is completed it will be doing it so now for example let's say that here if you want to use it then what we need to do it is um, so here you can do it uh, version okay so i can use it something like version is equal to dollar of version okay so now i am placing it this one 
so now here i can use this automatically in this one so here i can use it automatically in this one so like this so if you want to use this one then we need to do it like this okay now if i close it and if i try to run this one now hopefully we will be able to get that echo version argument the version of the argument is so we are getting it as an empty mm, let's try to check it okay so vi docker file let's try to see it so hi mm, so here the build process is already completed right so what we can do it is env version is equal to dollar of version so here we are able to get it env version is equal to dollar of version so that is the thing we have used it so i think the build process is already completed right here so the arg variable maybe it will not be available so then after the build process is complete if you want to define any other argument means so then it will be so we need to define another arg so something like let's say that i will use here arg okay i will try to show you the scenario so leela is equal to let's say um, leela webdo so this is the argument we are having now we can use this argument here so now the build process is not yet completed so here we can use the leela here now if you try to check the same thing so uh, this is the way a uh, little bit of tricky the argument thing so here this is the way actually this one, now the echo version you will be able to see the version of the argument is leela webdo now the arg value we are able to get it now if you want to use this arg values in the environment variable means so what you can do it is so here you can store this uh, variable okay in the env so here i can show i can show env uh, leela is equal to dollar of leela so now i am passing this arguments to the environment variables now if you build this one okay so build this one so let's try to build this one so now it is built so it is done now i want to create a container docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name ubuntu okay org and i will use ubuntu hyphen demo that's all right so let's try to run it this one so automatically demo fail to create why it has been clear error response team on fail okay 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 it is trying to get the nginx we have it written the nginx right so let's try to enable this one we have stopped this one and i will try to remove this uh, version also you don't need this version let's try to remove this version also nginx okay and let's try to run it before doing this one all so let's try to run it so it may take some time so now the build is done so if you try to uh, container run the container so now demon ubuntu arg already okay ubuntu arg 1 we will try to do it so now i am creating another one so now the container has been created so now what i want to do so docker exec i want to show you the hyphen ti environment variables so ubuntu hyphen arg1 okay and i want to do the environment variables now here you will be able to see the leela is equal to leela webdo so the arg variable which we have created the arg same arg i have i have assigned to the environment variables now it is able to assign it so that means the args also we can use it in the environment variables so just you need to understand that the args will be available only during the build process after the build process is completed the args available will not be, uh, the args will not be available so there at the first the arg has been declared and we are building from build from ubuntu means it is building that arg will be useful up to there only then afterwards we need to create an another arg and everything and those those args will be useful so when the build process is completed those args will be finished so we can have different build process like that and we can do it so that is what i want to tell you so this is how the args will work so hope you understood about this args in the docker file so the args is only used during the build process and env will be used during the running of the container runtime process So if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel